Hi everyone. Here's some important information about flu and COVID vaccine administration. In normal flu seasons, the flu vaccine prevents millions of illnesses, hundreds of thousands of hospitalizations, and thousands of deaths. According to the World Health Organization, for this flu season in the Southern Hemisphere, influenza activity remained at interseasonal levels. And in Southern Asia, while influenza detections of predominantly influenza A, H3N2, continued to increase in India and Nepal. We sometimes use the Southern Hemisphere to predict what we'll see here. But unfortunately, we can't predict what fall will bring in the Northern Hemisphere with the COVID pandemic ongoing. So this year, remember that co-administration of influenza and COVID-19 vaccine is safe and encouraged. COVID vaccines and other vaccines can be co-administered without regard to timing. Don't miss opportunities to give annual flu vaccines, including flu mist, along with the healthcare workers mandated first dose or upcoming booster doses this fall. The inactivated influenza vaccine requires the same ancillary supplies as COVID and can be given intramuscularly in each deltoid or separated by an inch or more on the same deltoid. Now for high dose and adjuvanted vaccines, which have higher reactogenicity in some studies compared to inactivated influenza vaccine, it's actually recommended to give those in separate arms from the COVID vaccine. Counseling on side effects should remain the same for both. You'll expect arm soreness and flu-like symptoms lasting 48 to 72 hours. From extensive historical data on vaccine co-administration with more highly reactogenic vaccines, there is no data to suggest that reactogenicity or side effects will be worse when the two vaccines are co-administered than with the vaccines alone. CDC is still recommending to offer the flu vaccine by the end of October, but we don't know when the flu season will start. So best to vaccinate patients when they show up for a COVID booster or for their primary series. For more information, check out the ACIP influenza vaccination recommendations published August 27th. Make sure the public can find flu vaccines near them by updating your flu vaccine stock status on vaccines.gov by September 24th. Flu vaccine stock status can be updated in the same way as COVID-19 in the COVID locating health portal. CDC's national flu vaccination campaign will be promoting vaccines.gov as a source to find flu vaccines. Thanks for listening.